This is an example of a trig equation with a compound angle, meaning we don't just have x, we now have 2x. So we're going to solve the equation root 3 tan 2x equals negative 1, and we're going to find all solutions in that interval. We'll begin by making the equation into a form that we can deal with, as we've done before. So we can make this tan 2x is minus 1 over root 3. We're going to now find the principal value associated with this. Okay, so we're going to find out that the principal value is inverse tan of negative 1 over root 3. And your calculators, or your knowledge, will show you that this is minus 30 degrees. Now the general solution part, the right hand side, we can write down the equation as before. So it's going to be 180n plus the principal value, so it's minus 30. On this side we no longer have x, we've got 2x. So this part needs to appear here. Since we're seeking to find values of x, all we've got to do is divide through by 2. So this gives us a new formula for the general solution, which is like that. Okay. So now we try different values of n, and we're looking for solutions between 0 and 180 degrees. So if we try n equals 0, that gives us negative 15, which is outside the interval. If we try n equals 1, it gives us 75 degrees. If we try n equals 2, that gives us 165 degrees. And if we try n equals 3, the solution again is outside the interval. So these are the two solutions to the original equation. You can check that they're right by substituting each of them back into the equation and you should find that the left hand side equals the right hand side. This is an example of a trig equation which contains a more complex argument, which is that part. Instead of cos x we've now got 3x plus pi over 3. So we have to solve this equation in this interval. The interval is also telling us that the question is using radians, so make sure your calculator is in radian mode before you start. To begin with, we're going to kind of ignore this part, and we're going to find the principal value associated with this bit. Okay, So the principal value in this case is the inverse cosine function of a half, and that will give you pi over 3 radians. Okay. Now the general solution for cosine in radians is 2 pi n plus or minus the principal value. On this side we're going to put the argument. So instead of x we're going to have 3x plus pi over 3. As before we've got to rearrange this to make x the subject. So we'll take the pi over 3 to the other side so that gives us 3x is 2 pi n plus or minus pi over 3 and we've got to subtract pi over 3 and then finally make x the subject so x is 2 pi n over 3 plus or minus well that will be pi over 9 minus pi over 9 so this is the general solution part and we'll use this to generate the answers so running through values of n. If we use n equals 0 that will give us um, 0 plus pi over 9 minus pi over 9 which will be 0. So 0, zero radians as a solution. Um, and we'll have minus pi over 9 minus pi over 9 and that's outside the interval so we can ignore that one. With n equals 1 we can substitute into here and we'll find that uh, 2 pi over 3 radians as a solution and we'll also get a, another one of 4 pi over 9 radians as a solution. With n equals 2 we won't generate any solutions in the interval so these are the three solutions.